Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It, and today we're going to change the front brakes on my Infinity Q50. Okay guys, we got the wheel off. I turned the wheel to the right to give me a little more access over here. These are the original uh, Akibono brakes. Uh, I'm just going to change, and the, the pads don't look too bad, but I'm getting a pulsation uh, when I brake hard. And that's, that happens when the rotors get warped, so they, they get so much heat on them, they warp. So uh, I'm just going to change these. Uh, these are not the sports brakes. This, this car is a Lux, so it came with the regular brakes. Um, it, it's, if you see me do any videos changing brakes, they were pretty much the same thing. You're going to take off the caliper. Uh, once you take off the caliper, take off the bracket, and then you take off the, uh, the rotor to change the rotors. So let's do that. Alright guys, we're going to start by taking off these two 14mm bolts. And come off pretty easy. Once you get them loose, you can get them off by hand. Once you get these bolts off, the caliper slides off. Now, what you want to do with this caliper, don't leave it hanging because it messes up the brake line. So I'm just going to use a, a bucket or something to lay it on like that. Okay. All right, guys, so these, these are your brake pads. They just slide right off. And as you can see, they're... They weren't too bad, maybe half one. Um, and the next thing you want to do is take off this bracket. If you're just changing the brake pads, you just slap the other brake pads, pads back on. And that's it. But we're doing the changing the rotors, which you should, you should always do. They're cheap enough. Anyway, you got to take off uh, this bolt. This is 22 millimeter. And this one down here to remove this bracket. All right, guys. I, uh, I moved this caliper out of the way. I put it up here so I can put my breaker bar on here. And just break this loose. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top one. All right, this bracket comes off. Now you're able to get this off. All right, guys. Now you can take the rotor off. You might have to slap it with a hammer a few times. All right, guys, I'm just going to clean this off a little bit with a wire brush. And I'm, then I'm going to put a little grease on here so it doesn't, the rotor doesn't get stuck on it. Slap a little grease on here. All right. The next time you do the brakes, the rotors don't get stuck too much. All right, guys, you got your new rotors. Uh, before you slap them on, make sure you uh, use some brake cleaner and clean them up. Um, they come with some kind of coating from the factory so it doesn't rust. You just want to spray them real quick and just clean that stuff off before you put them on. Now right, you're set. All right, guys, so uh, these are all your new hardware. You got all these uh, clips that came with it. So this, these things just pop out. Okay. But you need to put this together the same way it came in, okay, with these little clips on it. All right, guys, let me show you how to put these clips on, okay? So you're gonna put this part right under here, and then you're gonna wrap it around the top here, and then come down and clip it right there underneath there. And then you're gonna push this part up to kind of clip it in place. See? That's it. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright guys, before we put these clips in, I'm just gonna clean this with a wire brush. Alright, and I'm gonna throw a little grease on here. So sometimes these, this hardware squeaks. So, all right. And these, you just put them on. All right, guys. Now we can put this bracket back on. And we're just gonna put the 22 millimeters back on.
All right, guys, before you slap the pads on, put a little grease on these. Some people say not to, but the majority of mechanics and people I talk to say to do it, so I'm doing it. All right, now you can slap the pads on. All right, before you put this caliper back on, you gotta compress the uh, pistons over here. So what I'm gonna do is take an old brake pad, put it over here like this, and then use a C-clamp to C-clamp it all together, okay? Alright guys, next thing we want to do is take off these slide pins. You're just going to clean them up and grease them up and stick them back in, okay? Only a little grease, you don't need too much. Just slide in place, okay? Do the same thing with the bottom. All right, guys, now you're ready to put your caliper back on. Just slide it right over your brake pads. And you have to push in this, these pins and put in your 14 millimeter bolts. All right, guys, that's how you do the brakes on a Q50 without the sports brakes, okay? This is a lux, remember. So um, I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Take care.